Rookie running back Adrian Peterson possesses a staggering combination of power and speed. But it's another asset that amazes those who have met him. All right. Yeah, that was special. The man has the world's most devastating handshake. I don't shake his hand no more. He got amazing strength. Then your knuckles start to go like that. It's, that's actually how it is right there. It was something my dad always told me to do, you know, um, give a good firm handshake and, you know, look the guy in his eye. I absolutely have a strategy when you shake his hand. It's almost like a six gun where you take it out of your pocket and you swing it in there like that so that you insert it and you make sure it's in there. So, so you bring him so, to you. So you just make sure you just make sure that you're it's almost one of these. You want to enter this way. You enter this way. Peterson was taken seventh in the draft, a spot many figured would be Brady Quinn's, especially Brady Quinn. Everyone thinks I was bummed about dropping the draft. Really, I was just trying to cope with the pain of shaking Adrian's hand. I hate irresponsible reporting. Former ESPN cameraman Jacob Zabruder was working the green room that morning. I missed shooting the Quinn handshake as I was knee deep in crab dip at the time. NFL buffets are all class. But when I heard Brady squeal in agony, I started rolling tape. Peterson was headed to the stage. There was a kid in the number 58 jersey with a goofy haircut. He reached out to shake his hand, and I had to turn away. Well, it goes against everything I stand for as a cameraman, but I knew what was coming. Have you ever heard the sound of splintering metacarpals? After victimizing Commissioner Roger Goodell, Peterson sat with Susie Colbert. It was excruciating, but as a sideline reporter, I'm paid to fake smile my way through anything. In fact, I'm doing it right now. Peterson's teammates have found alternative ways to greet him. Sometimes it's patty cake. Sometimes a simple wave will suffice. Anything to avoid a robust and meaningful handshake with that guy. He's still a rookie, so we got to do what we say. So we make sure we put that vice grip to good use. You know, there's nothing like a fresh glass of orange juice to start the NFL daily experience. Pulp is good for the insides. Put her there. 